how many snails? We're gonna do this one again, and we're gonna be adding and seeing how many different animals we have in our story. How many snails? It's a counting book, but we're gonna use it slightly different than counting. I went walking, and I wondered, how many clouds were there? How many clouds were big and fluffy? How many clouds were big and fluffy and gray? So let's see how many fluffy white clouds or white clouds there are. One, two, three, four. We have four white clouds. But let's see how many gray clouds we have. One, two, three, four. We have four gray clouds. How many clouds do we have all together? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight clouds all together. Remember, when you join two things, you get a bigger number. What are we counting next? We're gonna count some flowers. We have a lot of flowers here. I went walking to the meadow and I wondered, how many flowers were there? How many flowers were yellow? How many flowers were yellow with black centers? Let's count our yellow flowers. Nope, sorry, we're gonna count our pink flowers. One, two, three, four. We have four pink flowers, and now we're gonna add our white flowers. Four pink flowers plus how many white flowers? One, two. Two white flowers equals how many flowers all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six pink and white flowers. I went walking to the lake and I wondered how many fish were there? How many fish were red? How many fish were red with their mouths open? All right, let's, we're gonna count our red fish and see how many red fish there are with their mouths closed. One, two, three. We have three fish, red fish with their mouth closed. And then we're gonna add our red fish with their mouths open. One, two, three, four. We have three red fish with their mouth closed and four with their mouth open makes how many red fish? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven red fish. Oh dear, look at all those snails. Woo! I went walking to the garden and I wondered how many snails were there. We're gonna count our snails that are this red orange color. We're gonna count how many have their heads out and how many have their heads in. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six snails with their heads out. How many of the red orange snails have their head tucked in? Just one. Six snails with their head out plus one with his head in equals how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven red orange snails. Oh dear, we have our doggies. We have lots of them. We're gonna count our dogs with the spots. One, two, three, four. We have four spotted dogs. Then we're gonna add our black dogs. Ones that are all black. How many dogs do we have that are all black? One, two. Four spotted dogs plus two black dogs equals how many dogs? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six spotted dogs and black dogs. Oh dear, look at all the books. We have lots of books. This is gonna be our last page of this book. 
and I'm gonna do a challenge problem for you. We're gonna count how many big books and how many little books and find out how many was there all together. Let's count our big books first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 big books. And then we're gonna join them with the little books to find out how many books there are all together. Let's count our teeny books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen big books plus twelve teeny books equals how many books? Whew, are you ready to count all those books? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 13 books plus 12 books equals 25 books. Whew, that's a lot of books. So you can find ways to join numbers in pretty much anything. And that was how many snails.